of a police raid on a wrong house and the video that surfaced this week. Mayor has made several apologies, but she's trying to clear the air by sitting down for one-on-one -on -one interviews with reporters. WGN's Gaynor Hall spoke to the mayor today. She joins us now live from City Hall. Gaynor. Ray and Micah, the mayor is promising accountability, and she says the failures here go beyond the police department. Miss Young was completely denied her dignity as a human being. Mayor Lori Lightfoot now says she was alerted about Anjanette Young's case, among others, with few details last year. But she says she just saw the video for the first time on Tuesday after it aired. Along the way, people that work for the city government saw that videotape. They had to have. There's no question in my mind. And what's been bothering me is how do they not see what we all saw? In February 2019, Young, a social worker, was naked and traumatized after police burst through her door and handcuffed her. She told them dozens of times they had the wrong house. Turns out the person they were looking for was next door and on electronic monitoring. The city went to court to try to keep the video from being aired. But there's more. The mayor said she was outraged to learn there were additional body camera videos not initially turned over to Young's legal team as ordered by a judge. There's no excuse for that. I believe it was inadvertent, but it doesn't matter. They have an obligation as officers of the court. When the court ordered that all body worn cameras be turned over, that's what the court meant. We need to know why this case was set on. Lightfoot met virtually Friday afternoon with a group of faith and community leaders. It was a tough conversation, as it should have been. They're demanding accountability and change. We call upon the mayor to do the right thing and to do it swiftly. It's time in this post Laquan McDonald era, it's time for real police reform to come to Chicago. There are a lot of people who will look at this situation and draw parallels with the handling of the Laquan McDonald video. You criticized your predecessor mm -hmm. for that. Uh, what well, makes this any different well, than that? Uh, there's a lot of differences, and I absolutely understand. People have already gone there. But we're talking about the murder of a young man. And I don't want to ever diminish what happened to uh, Miss Young. We can't, and I never will. But there is a difference between what happened to her and the murder of a young man in the street for no reason. It wasn't justified. There is there's a difference, and I, I can't let us conflate the two. That would be a disservice to Laquan McDonald and his family. The failings of not recognizing the seriousness of it, absolutely, um, that happened on my watch, and I own responsibility for it, and I'm taking responsibility for it. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability is still investigating. The mayor instructed her corporation counsel to withdraw sanctions against Young's attorney, and she says she's committed to working on building the public's trust. Are you, doing? Are well, you going I've to asked, fire your corporation counsel? Well, what I've asked to be done is I want to understand exactly who touched this, who knew about it, who saw the videotape. I need to have those details so that I can hold people accountable. And we were working on that. Late today, three aldermen dropped their call for a special city council hearing next week after uh, the city's decision that uh, uh, sanctions will not be pursued against Anjanette Young's attorney. The mayor also saying she has reached out and she still wants to speak directly with Anjanette Young. Reporting live tonight from City Hall, Gaynor Hall. WGN News. All right, Gaynor, thank you. New here at 9, Chicago police are warning.